What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and this is an upper body hypertrophy workout and this is straight off my linear strength hypertrophy program which I've mentioned multiple times that that's what I'm currently doing. And I'm doing this for an indefinite period. I don't know exactly when I'm going to stop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this to build muscle and then go into my strength power program and focus a little bit on jump training and then go back on my six week strength program as then I just focus on building strength and then get ready for some powerlifting meets later down the road. So you see here all I did was use 235 on the bench press and I did four sets of eight touch and go. In general I found I progress a little bit better benching without a pause and what I want to do is I want to hit 350 pounds tree fitty touch and go and then I'm going to focus on going into the pause then leading up to competitions. But that's been a big lifetime goal for me, so I just want to hit that first. So overall, since the focus is on hypertrophy, the theme of this workout is higher volume. At least higher volume than what I normally use, just training for only strength. And the reason why I'm doing this is not just for powerlifting, but also because I do want to just build muscle in general. And because as a powerlifting channel, me building muscle is an important part of promoting powerlifting. I have to admit that fact that I can't just always, especially with my upper body, I can't just always tell people, you know, my lower body is way bigger than my upper body, and that's why I'm stronger in the squat and deadlift. Eventually, there gets to a point where I just have to build upper body mass, or I can't promote the sport as effectively. In the middle of this workout, the battery to my camera actually died. So I had to go back home. I actually got some McDonald's on the way, and then came back and then had to finish my workout. One simply cannot make gains without stopping at McDonald's. Once I returned from McDonald's, something I messed around with was using a bigger range of motion on my pull-ups, relaxing in the bottom position, which I think might help because it makes sense because that elevates your scapula and then it forces you to depress your scapula as you begin pulling up and scapular depression is a function of your lats. So the overall theme you'll see of this workout is just higher volume than at least I usually use and it was really killing me. The more I work on my pressing volume, I really think my bench press is going to increase. And then the upper back volume, I think also is going to help my deadlift. Because every time I've been strict with doing my dumbbell rows, I've noticed that my deadlift increases steadily. Whereas once I drop that upper back volume, it does affect my deadlift negatively. Basically now I'm trying to emulate Cali Muscle in his 500 series. I think there's a lot of similarities between me and Cali, although I do eat McDonald's instead of Top Ramen and my IQ's over 60. But other than that, it's really similar. It is amazing that I'm so not conditioned for handling volume that in this workout, I literally had to use 30 pound dumbbells to overhead press to be able to finish the workout, or I just wasn't gonna be able to do it because of my triceps were just that burnt out that it almost felt like I just couldn't even push my arms over my head. The theme of this workout is sometimes you're just not prepared for a particular training session, but sometimes it's just all about getting it done and doing whatever you can just to get every set in, get all the reps in, and then that's all that matters and eventually over time you'll get conditioned to it and you know you're working a weakness when it's like this. So that's it guys, make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace!